Our first couple, Bernard Lunalo and his fiance Joyce Mukisa, met through a mutual friend and decided to live together after establishing their relationship. Then I met Joyce in 2004. You know, when you need something, you have to do a lot. I struggled so much, and then I used my friend to, to connect me with her. We became friends, we started chatting. He used to work some in those days. Then I told her, that, why should you just go there? And you are living with your cousins. Just come and stay. I'm alone. <laughs> then she went to visit the parents at home. Then from there, she told me, I am not feeling well. <laughs> then I know that I noted that there is something happening. Then life started. <laughs> yeah. So what does this pair love about each other? Mimi itene na mpendea. Ni kujua sana sana. Kristo na kujua mamba ya mungu. Ni mtu understanding. Akona moyo wa uruma. Theme tu ule wa makelele. Yes, ukikosa na kuambia right on the way. Kiangalia mimi ni mshot. Ya ni mrefu. <laughs> sana sana before mvua ikuja na niambia inakuja. <laughs> mvua inakuja. <laughs> so you see, so napenda eh, pia. Ani napenda usafi, anapenda mungu pia. Ananipenda sana. Na vile... Coerced by the willful persistence of their beloved parents and their church to tie the knot, Joyce and Lunalo have embarked on an ambitious mission to raise cash for their dream wedding. My budget is 250 for now. We proposed with my committee members, even with her, that we need, like from, like from home, we were expecting like 200 people. Then in Kashe, St. Stephen Catholic Church, we are always 300. We normally do, we normally have funds eh, from these executive committees, and then we have um, members. Eh? You know, the first thing what you do, like for me, what you do when you need to get some good money, like uh, we have like, uh, three Jumuiyas, eh? the small communities in the church. Eh? Then I invited them. Joyce and Lunalo's church in Gashia encourages church weddings by ensuring that every member of the faith contributes in any way to make the couple with the intention of marriage wed. When it comes to getting the suppliers for this wedding, Carol and Lunalo are leaving the entire task to their executive committee. When you need the suppliers, for me I can get, yeah, when I'm individual. But you know, this is now a group. When you are in a group and you have the executive committee, the executive committee can plan who can do what. This one can do this and this one can do this. You know, like the video shooting. There are so many of them. Like decos. We have so many of them. Those people can cook. There are so many. But you know, when you call for a tender, Video shooting, we need like, uh, we need these people. You advertise. We shall be catering so many of us, you know, like uh, where I normally do my job. I can say we cover the whole world. Uh, we have Muslim, Hindus, uh, Indians, and Kenyans. Uh, so you see, the food should not be the same. Mm. And when you are tentering, you should provide for the food that can feed these people so that, you know, when you, yes, you can say, I know how to cook the rice. Yes, but other people may be not eating the rice. <laughs> what will you be providing for them? As for their suits, Lunalo and the executive members have opted to buy ready-made suits from one supplier instead of having seamstress to make it for them. Nikakundua kwamba ukienda kwa fundi mwenye anakuja hapo anawapima. Hmm? Normally make some delays. Arus me karibia, hauta mwana. Some people, you'll find that, yes, their suits are tight, some are big, so you wonder how. <laughs> so you find that some of your best friends will never be there. So in my, my wedding, we decided to go somewhere where you are to get a supplier. 
he has to go in the, the shop, fit yourself, take your suit to go and go with it. <laughs> Joyce and Lunalo have settled for a large bridal lineup of 52 people for fear of disappointing and losing their friends and family. This has been a stressful affair on their part as they are wondering how this big group will be served at the high table. Tell me how, how you will serve 100 people and you have been dancing there in the church or you have been sitting there in the church. Eh? Tell me, it's very hard, it's not easy. Tuko wote na marafiki. Huyu akawa na marafiki wengi na mimi niko na marafiki wengi. Sasa hata mimi huko home kuna watu na participate na kwa wedding. Sasa mimi waezi niacha. Kuna wengine wao wamechitolea kukuja Nairobi kushuhudia na wakue kwa line. Sasa for me kutoka nyumbani wanaweza kuwa around 15. What I was trying to propose in my wedding is this. I needed only those guys, only those men and ladies who are married. Then you have those dancers in the church. Yeah, I think you know them. The, 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 older, the, the older boys, PMC. the PMC children. Pia kuna watoto. Yeah, so you see. Kuna watoto, they're around 10, yeah, 10, 11. Kuna teenagers, pia. Yeah, you see. Joyce and Lunalo's wedding follows a blue and pink theme. However, since the wedding will have different groups of people in the lineup, each of them has their own choice of color. We shall have like around, uh, if I'm not wrong, around three colors. Around three colors. Around three colors. <laughs> because you know the traditional dance we call is kute from, uh, from uh, culture. They have their own color. Then we have the Jumuyas, they also have another color. Oh, yeah. Then the real wedding dress, you see, it comes like three of them. For their wedding, this couple is particular about one thing that most lovebirds forget to look at after their big day. What I believe is this, whichever things are hurt in the house, through the kids, through the couples, you have to solve your problem in the bedroom. You should not slap one another in the front of the kids. Let the kids believe that, yes, mom loves dad. When I know, no, I don't. <laughs> Even if there, is, there will be a separation, you must keep it bond. Why? The, the child will need the father, the child will need the mother. Lunalo and his bride-to-be, Joyce, had a successful fundraising and are now awaiting anxiously for their wedding. The couple has two children and is now ready to be joined in holy matrimony in front of their family and friends. It is the morning of Joyce and Lunalo's wedding and the bride is getting all dolled up. <laughs> kwanza nilikuwa nimeokopa na lakini nimetiwa ngufu na watu marafiki sasa saa hii nasikia niko huru nilikuwa nimeokopa hata kukula sikuweza <laughs> lakini saa hii niko sawa na fry Meanwhile inside the church the congregation is ganged up and doing different chores to make it a successful day for Joyce and Lunalo Sensitive in Gashia, 
chakula ni pilau kuna bi, kuna roast chicken kuna karanga viazi na kuna salads chakula tunatayisha watu 100 i table watu wakiwa 70 70 I didn't know the day will be like this. The day is shiny. It means God love, loves us. And uh, my wedding is uh, a successful one. Because like uh, the first two, three weeks, eh, the, the weather was so much gloomy. Yeah, but for today, even some people are, don't believe it for today. <laughs> Because of their long lineup, different groups have worn different colors to celebrate the big day with the couple. They all walk down the aisle looking sharp in their uniforms as they usher in the bride. Joyce, being a Pentecostal, Evangelistic Fellowship of Africa member, has to be baptized first and receive her first Holy Communion, and then will receive the Sacrament of Marriage according to the Catholic traditions.
As Joyce and Lunala predicted, coordinating such a large group of bridal party for a photo shoot was not an easy task. The newlyweds immediately joins their guests at the reception, which is at the church hall in the same venue, and the congregation has come in large numbers to celebrate with them. Here, too, the couple has stressful time trying to find how their long bridal line will fit at the high table. The choir has been charged with the duty of entertaining the guest as food is served. I love no other day like this. I say I'm a winner because I have Jews with me here. Mefunga, kona pete, ekonyesha mapenzi tu ni akudumu si akudanganya na ABCD. That is why mefunga kanisa ni watu mesherekea watu kama mfrai. So I feel great. 
We wish the couple a happy marriage.